with the revival of last year's Gouda Gouda Legend of the Imperial Capital Grail just around the corner, it's time to take a look at a three star who is very much at the heart of the series. A powerful servant who at this stage can really be regarded as something of a staple. I of course refer to Medea. Medea, three star caster and undoubted best girl of Fate's Day Night, brings much to the table despite receiving not a single buff since Fate Grand Order's inception. Fate's Grand Order is a game in which any servant is usable. Despite their low rarity, the one, two, and particularly three star cohorts boast an impressive array of heroic spirits. While many of these will eventually find themselves outclassed in terms of pure stats and sheer raw power, many of them have excellent skills or fulfill specific niches that will see them retain their value long after your Chaldea has been graced by multiple gold servants. These are the three star superstars. Medea is a flexible servant who, when given the necessary time and investment, can really develop into one of Fate's Grand Order's more effective single target casters. The Witch of Cultists stands out for possessing instant noble phantasm potential, bringing with it one of the game's most accessible buff removers. Beyond this, she also has surprising capacity to develop into a caster DPS. At the heart of Medea's kit is her noble phantasm, Fortunately, she comes with a skill that fits the bill, namely her first, Rapid Words of Divine Rank A. This provides Medea with an immediate and significant NP battery, ranging from 80% at level 1 to 150% at level 10. Better still, generating an instant noble phantasm requires the skill only be raised to level 4. This makes Medea almost unique in that she can charge her NP immediately without the help of a craft essence. This really gives her far more flexibility when it comes to selecting CEs, which is useful both for Medea herself, enabling a path to a potential DPS Medea with the right craft essence, as well as for masters who only have a limited number of high quality CEs that provide starting NP gauge. But what exactly is it that her NP does that makes it so useful? Rule Breaker is an excellent noble phantasm that offers masters their most reliable access to a buff remover. If the enemy uses an inconvenient evade, an annoying crit buff that gets your servants instant killed. Medea can fit into almost any team on account of filling this vital niche, but is she really the best option? Well, despite emerging competition within this niche, Medea provides the greatest accessibility to it. Alexander, who will receive it as a buff on his fair youth skill later this year, can only do it at best once every seven turns. Unlike these two alternatives, Medea can not only use it at any time, even instantly on account of rapid words of divine, but she also brings with her impressive NP gauge generation, ensuring that she can use it at any opportune moment. Not having to wait for cooldowns or 
needing the right craft essence. Her NP itself brings with it a solid NP gauge refund. For example, at 100% overcharge, she receives 20% back. At 500% overcharge, the maximum possible, she gets a full 100% NP refund, enabling her to fire Rule Breaker off yet again. Furthermore, her triple arts deck combined with Arts Noble Phantasm further the ease of generating NP gauge. This isn't to mention her third skill, Curti's Teaching, which not only provides a debuff cleanse for one servant, which is very useful in its own right, but also up to 50% NP gain for one turn. This is great on Medea herself, but can also be used to buff a potential ally. All of this potential NP gain is further magnified, provided she is used in tandem with the right supports. It is these same supports that enable her other potential role, that of a caster DPS. While Rule Breaker itself comes with an extremely poor damage modifier compared to other single target noble phantasms, Medea's ease of access to it opens up the opportunity for a somewhat surprising role for a three star caster, that of an arts caster DPS. As an arts single target caster, Medea fits well with many arts supports that can give her even greater access to her NP in addition to buffing her damage. Unlike the buster damage dealing single target casters, her Arts Noble Phantasm can fit into Arts Chains, rather than disrupting NP generation cycles. This leads to even greater party NP gauge generation, and can enable numerous NPs to be generated and fired off, including, building on her own impressive NP game, Rule Break itself. This allows her to hit boss level opponents with Rule Breaker potentially multiple times, negating its poor damage modifier and removing enemy buffs in the process, disrupting them. However, what lifts her into a potential DPS role is when she is used with the right supports, which allows her to do solid damage and even work effectively as late as Lost Belt 2 and 3 as an anti assassin single target killer. In particular, she works effectively alongside Tamamo no Mai, Caster Gildamesh, or a free to play alternative in Paracelsus von Hohenheim. Tamamo provides excellent arts and NP damage buffs through her skills, in turn, boosting the attack power and NP gain of Medea's arts cards and Rule Breaker. Further still, through her noble phantasm, Eightfold Blessing of Amaterasu, she can both provide healing to the otherwise rather squishy Medea, as well as a solid boost of NP gauge. Custard Guild Mesh provides both a solid attack buff and an arts buff, which both further improves the damage of her arts cards and Noble Phantasm, in addition to further boosting her NP generation. In addition, his own Noble Phantasm, Milamu Dingia, provides party wide defensive buffs and enemy defensive debuffs. Lamu Dingia also serves as a useful way to clear pesky mobs of enemies, allowing Medea to target the truly difficult enemies. That is, if his NP does enough damage to actually finish them off. Continuing the trend of pathetic wrist slapping noble phantasms, another useful support option is the infamous Paracelsus. In exchange for sacrificing damage, Paracelsus pairs his own arts buff with tremendous NP gain through his third skill, Philosopher's Stone, potentially boosting Medea's NP gain by up to 50% for three full turns. In addition, the guts that comes with the skill is useful, given Medea's inherently rather squishy nature. For more information on these support options to go alongside a potential DPS Medea, check out my DPS Medea video, which should be coming out soon. The ease with which she can use her NP, particularly in these lineups, allows for her to become an effective arts DPS 
with buffs on her attack power, art studs, and especially her NP gain. In doing so, Rule Breaker can not only inflict solid single target damage, but also disrupts the buffs of opposing enemies, preventing them from having stability of their own. And given that unlike Buster damage dealers, she has an Arts NP, Rule Breaker can be part of Arts chains that also allow her teammates access to their own Noble Phantasms, in addition to boosting her own NP gain potential. Thank you all for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the video. My name has been Seundians, if you enjoyed please leave a like, comment and subscribe, and I'm very interested to see who you think should be next in this series.